It's a sobering report for military leaders who are used to meeting objectives. Sexual misconduct continues to be a destructive problem within the Canadian Armed Forces, and we have made rather limited progress in eliminating it over the past two and a half years. I think the culture It doesn't surprise Paula McDonald. Constant sexual harassment caused her to quit the military. Some members of the Canadian Armed Forces have gone awry in terms of trying to teach uh, soldiers how to be tough. The reality of the matter is that it's destructive and it's harmful to everyone involved. 900 members of the regular forces, 1.6%, reported being victims of sexual assault last year. Women were four times more likely than men to be victims. Problems even more pronounced in the reserves. Not much different than a survey three years ago. We are particularly troubled by the persistence of sexual assault, which causes the most harm to individuals and to our institution. Since 2015, the military has used high-profile prosecutions in an attempt to stamp out the problem, an approach to name, shame, and even expel, known as Operation Honor. Maybe the, the Operation Honor doesn't, um, doesn't work enough or doesn't um, target the, the real source of the, the problem. It was Stephanie Raymond's own story which sparked the crackdown. She and other victims say the problem is one of culture and training. Changing that culture was at the heart of a 2015 report by former Supreme Court Justice Marie Deschamps. But with so little progress, some experts say it's time for Parliament to take away the military's responsibility for policing itself and hand it over to civilians. Marie Brewster, CBC News, Ottawa.